Good evening, everyone. I've got my um, iPhone way up high on the, on the um, what do you call those things? I'm trying to think, tripod, tripod on self, selfie stick, and angle. So it's, that's kind of cool. I, I don't think I've ever had it in this position. It's really high, really high. I think it's the highest it goes, or maybe a little higher. But um, it also has tilt. This is a really cool selfie stick. It's not like my old one. Much better and longer. Okay, I've got a share here of two DVD sets. One is mint and one is opened. Um, these are the complete series. They're some of my favorite shows, not only from my childhood, but to the current day. So um, the Brady Bunch, the complete series, and I think this, I only played a few of them. I kind of, I bought it, but it was used and I really didn't watch much of it. I bought it about maybe like five years ago. And um, then they started showing Brady Bunch, two episodes every Saturday or Sunday or both on either MeTV or Antenna TV. I don't know if they're both available on cable. I think Antenna is, but via Antenna in LA, you can get both. They're like, they're channels that play like old TV shows like from the 50s, the 60s. Like I think they were playing Gidget for a while. They kind of change their, their uh, what they're gonna show. But I do like those channels. And they do play the, they did, last time I checked, play the Brady Bunch, two episodes back to back. Once a week or twice, either Saturday or Sunday or both. And I think it was started like at 1 p.m. And then they'd show back to back at the Partridge family. And I think they're still doing it. But it's only on Saturday or Sunday when they did it. And um, this is the Flintstones, which is another one of my favorite shows. They do show this, or last time I heard, they were showing it on MeTV or Antenna TV, like I said. And I think it was on at night, like it was when I was, when I was a kid. I think it was on at like five or six, and I think that's what time it was on on either MeTV or Antenna TV, at least in LA time, like around six. So. Um, the Flintstone, I mean, um, well, let me talk about that. I'll talk about the Flintstones first. So this is mint, and I'm going to open it. I never watched it. I thought, you know what? Maybe I should save it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to open it. So, um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, this also has, like, commercials and stuff like that. It has lots of bonuses besides all the seasons and episodes. So, and I know years ago, um, on my old computer years ago, like like when I had Windows 95, my laptop, I had a laptop back then, they were so expensive. Desktops were still expensive, but, and it didn't have a CD-ROM drive. It didn't even have a floppy drive. It, I don't think, maybe it did have a floppy drive, floppy disk, yeah, I think it did. And then um, I ended up spending a lot of money for an external hard drive that came out and, um, um, then I was able to watch CD, CD-ROMs on my, um, on my computer, you know, then, then it became, you can watch your DVDs too, but then it was just like games and stuff that were on CD-ROM. So, um, yeah, I, I got it for games, but then I ended up buying a whole bunch of, um, videos like it, like at Staples, they used to have a whole bunch of CDs with different, like with games on them and, like I got one that was all pinball games and you know things like that. Well, they had um, they had one with old commercials, including the Flintstones and I think I love I think Lucy and Desi and they had smoking commercial a advertising cigarettes. They're really they're like old commercials but really funny ones like that um, like from the '60s or maybe from the '50s where smoking was shown on TV and. Well, it was shown on TV up until not too, well, when I was a kid, I think it was, but um, commercials. But um, yeah, they, like in, in the beginning of the show, t the sponsor would be like Lucky Strike or whatever the old cigarette brands are. So that's really funny. And the Flintstones was really, it, it, it began in 1960 and ran through 66. I did check that. And it was aimed at adults. And it was the first prime time cartoon. Then one of the next ones was probably The Simpsons. But um, 
And then, no, the Jetsons. I think the Jetsons came later and they were prime time too. Uh, maybe they came in the later, in like the mid 60s. No, they came probably between 1960 and 66 when the Flintstones. Then they had the Jetsons and they were both Hanna-Barbera. So, and I'm a big fan of Hanna-Barbera, everything. All the characters like on Facebook. I, I used to be in a Hanna-Barbera group. They haven't been, po I'm not seeing their posts much, but yeah, I like like Yogi Bear and what was another big one? Quick Draw McGraw. <laughs> but they showed those, those cartoons like in the 60s and then like the Flintstones ended in 1966 and it went into syndication immediately. And it was shown every day when I was a kid to a teenager and I know it was shown even after that. I know it was shown in the 80s. Um, it never died. I mean, it was always on TV for, it might have even shown on the 90s once, once a, um, a day. So, and the Brady Bunch was on way after it ended. Way after it ended. It was running on syndication. So, and I used to watch them over and over again. So it was really the Brady Bunch and the Flintstones and Bugs Bunny were my favorite shows as a kid. And I still enjoy them. So let's see if I can open this. So, oh, let me show you this. I won't read it, but it's how long is this video? No, I'm not going to read it. But it tells, let's see, the greatest collection of prehistory, prehistory in history. Um, Flintstones meet the Flintstones. Oh, okay. Season one, all about the Flintstones, wacky inventions, the flagstones, how the series started, spotlights. Yeah, they've got, yeah, season one. Okay, from season one to season six, they've got, they tell you what they have besides the episodes. Special features. Okay, those are special features. I just got it for the episodes, and then um, shortly after it was on TV, I, I saw the advertisement when I was watching either MeTV or Antenna TV. I figured, I shall I open it, keep it mint. Oh, well, this is really nice. Okay. And if you can tell, this has got one of those designs you probably can't tell. Um, oh yeah, you probably can. If it changes this picture, it's one of those where when you move it, the Flintstones, the complete series. Oh, okay. I always like to see the way they package these things. And look, it's like a, it's like a radio with the old, or it's like a TV with the old uh, knobs. Yeah, this is the Flintstones. Okay, so let me hold it up. Oh, adorable. <laughs> oh. Okay. Very cute. Now this I bought new. Um, I would have bought used, but it must not have been bail available cheap. Maybe it's newer than the um, Brady Bunch one. I bought the Brady Bunch one used on Amazon. It's in excellent condition. It's from a seller that I had bought books from, and I think CDs, maybe CDs, because I used to buy a lot of used CDs. And um, um, it came in, I'll show you, but it, it's like in mint condition. It still is because I kept it in its packaging. So I was so shocked I saved a lot of money too. Back then, um, used DVDs and CDs and, and books were less shipping than they are now to a private seller. And once I found a private seller I liked, you know, I'd buy from them a lot if they were one that sold uh, a CD I wanted or a book. So, but most of them are pretty reliable. I mean, if they say used good or used very good or used excellent, or, you know, whatever, they're pretty accurate. And I even had, back in the day, I even had, when I bought CDs, I even had um, used CDs. I even had this, would, would contact the seller through Amazon and tell them that the case was cracked. And I don't know if it was cracked in shipping or they sent it to me cracked. And they would send me a new case. That was really cool. <laughs> Most of them would. And then I found out you can buy a big, gigantic thing of them dirt cheap. So that's what I did. I think I bought them at Staples or Office Depot. Just blank CD cases that the same size as the ones that hold CDs. And then you just take the paper out. 
Okay. So here's this. There's Mr. Slate. Season two, Dino, Fred, Pebbles, and Bam Bam. Cute. I heard um, the Pebbles, bringing the Pebbles character on. I think I heard an interview. It was either with Hanna Barbera, or maybe I saw it on TV or years ago or saw it on YouTube. But the reason why they introduced Pebbles is because they wanted, they made a Pebbles doll, which I didn't had no idea. I was, I was too, no, I, I would have been too young to even know about a Pebbles doll. <laughs> or not born yet, rather. But um, yeah, they, they came out with a Pebbles doll and um, apparently she was really popular. Maybe Mattel sold her, but um, I'm sure she's collectible now. But I don't know if they made a Bam Bam doll, but I guess that was the main reason why they brought a baby into the family. <laughs> or that, that inspired them to do marketing with, um, with the Pebbles doll. So yeah, I always liked the Flintstones. My dad liked the Flintstones. When I was a kid, we used to watch it together. He also liked Bugs Bunny. He didn't like the Brady Munch. <laughs> but you know, the Bugs Bunny has been around, I think since the 40s or 30s maybe. So those are really old cartoons. So my dad probably watched them in his youth because they showed them at movie theaters. I don't know if they showed them on TV in the 50s, but they showed even even in the 80s, I'd sometimes go to a movie and they'd show a Bugs Bunny cartoon before it started. So. Okay, now this is the Brady Bunch. How much time do I have? Okay, good. This is what's really cool is it comes in this case. That's how they sent it to me used. So you put it in, it keeps the carpeting clean. And it's like the shag carpeting from, I guess, well, Brady Bunch started in 69. So from 69 to either 74 or 75. Here I can tell you guys. That's why I brought my um, iPad, because I wanted to give you accurate facts about when the series, okay. I didn't make notes. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Okay, September 26, 1969 to March 8th, 1974. Okay. So, um, it ran a really long time. Um, and I enjoyed it on the reruns. And I probably watched it in the 80s. I still enjoy it when I catch it on TV on that channel. You know, I don't really plan to watch it anymore. At one point I did, but then I kind of didn't. So, I don't even know if they're still showing it. But... Or, you know, when you're flipping through the channels, like on a Roku, you can see what each channel has gone on and when it's coming up. So I would see the Brady Bunch, the Brady Bunch, the Partridge Family, if I was scrolling channels to see what was on. Okay. Well, the Roku, that's through the antenna on the TV, yeah. So. Yeah, I use antenna. I don't have cable. I don't have fiber, TV, or AT&T TV. I use... Um, just the old kind of antennas people used in the 70s if they didn't have a roof antenna, you know, rabbit ears, but it's fancier, but it's basic. I had rabbit ears years ago when digital TV first came out and it worked, it worked with rabbit ears. <laughs> so funny. Okay. But it's free TV. It comes, now that it's digital, it comes in really clear. So, and cause I don't watch, I could get Netflix. I could get streaming services like HBO Max, Netflix, but I really don't watch a lot of TV, so. Okay, well, this that's what I'm showing you, and oh, let me show you the back. Let's see what it says. If you wanna buy it, I'm sure it's still on Amazon, both of these. You might have to get it used, or it might be really expensive, like marked up, because it came out so long ago. DVD. Yeah, these are DVD sets. I think I might've said CDs. Oh, a very Brady Christmas. Okay, it also has the shows, when the Brady Bunch ended, they had like some specials, and they had very Brady Christmas. Brady, oh, the Brady Kids, the cartoon. Brady Jim's, 
they the Brady 500. I think they did several episodes after the Brady Bunch ended. So, and they all look a lot older. They have gray hair and it's kind of funny. <laughs> Some, or they just look a lot older. You know, some of them when they were young adults, I think they did a few of them, you know, but anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. And, uh, probably tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm going to upload this tonight. What time is it? 8.13? 9. Yeah, I'll upload tonight. So tomorrow or tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow, which is Friday, I'm going out with my mom and, um, I'm also going to the doctor and she's coming with me and um, then we're gonna probably go out to eat or something so I don't know if I'm gonna film I'll probably just film us eating or us in the car if we don't go somewhere to eat she's staying at my sister's house so it's not inconvenient for her to come down and spend the day with me my sister lives like seven minutes away so she's just um, my, she's dog sitting for my sister while I guess my sister is taking her son to college. So, um, to his dorm or whatever. I don't know what she's doing, but she did that with him last year too. So, oh no, this is his first year of college. That's right, my other nephew. Yeah, they both go to the same school. My other nephew just graduated. Oh no, wait, last year he was there. Okay, my two nephews went to the same school. They're, um, one was a freshman, one the other was a senior. So, um, yeah, so now one will be a now one will be a sophomore. I don't know why my sister would be going there. Maybe she's not. Maybe they're already in school and she's going on a vacation or something. But um, yeah, my mom is dog sitting, and so she'll be just doing nothing. And I mean, unless she had plans. But I said in advance, do you want to come with me to the doctor? She said yeah. So okay, everybody, take care. Bye.